Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Friday, April the 3rd, 2020, and this is episode 3258. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. Today's episode is titled, Fear is Not an Option. Stay tuned. So right now here at my home studio, it is 727 a.m. Friday morning. I normally get these episodes out uh, about the same time. But uh, as soon as I finish this episode, I'll be going out to be a blessing to others. And uh, I know that today I'm going to run into some people who are dealing with fear. Now, most of you know this, that um, I do a lot of different things ministry-wise, but one of the things I really enjoy doing in my retirement is being an Uber and a Lyft driver. I know it's challenging right now. I posted a meme yesterday on Facebook. If you follow me there, I'm Blue Ridge Bruce on Facebook. It said... There is a limit to the amount of fresh linen scent a man can endure, right? Fresh linen scent. That's what all those disinfectant sprays have in them. But I enjoy being a blessing and encouraging people. So driving down the highway uh, last week, I passed an 18-wheeler with the words, fear is not an option on the back of the truck cab. I thought that was an unusual statement, and I started mulling it over in my mind, is if fear is not an option, then what choice do we have? We could allow fear to control our will and our emotions, or we could do what Colossians 3.15 says. This is from the Amplify translation. Listen to it. And let the peace, soul harmony, which comes from Christ, rule Act as an umpire continually in your hearts, deciding and settling with finality all questions that arise in your minds in that peaceful state, to which as members of Christ, one body, you were also called to live and be thankful, appreciative, giving praise to God always. So for us, fear is not an option. Throughout the Bible, God tells his people over and over again, don't be afraid or don't be discouraged. And with Christ on our side, we have no reason to fear anything in this world. There is a certainty we will not live our entire life without facing any troubles. No one, including you and I, are invincible. However, Jesus said, in this godless world, you will continue to experience difficulties. But take heart. I have conquered the world. The real problem starts when we allow our minds to get off track. You know how that works, right? And our hearts fill up with fear and we kept playing these recordings in our mind, these film reels. It's so easy to fear, to slip up. And in the midst of being confronted with a major difficulty like we're experiencing right now, fear can overcome us. And the enemy is right there. Yeah, to help us analyze every possible detail of the situation. And any of you frustrated, I'm I'm being (laughs) over-detailed about all this stuff. But if we stop and listen to all the lies, we will begin to agree with Satan and believe that maybe the Lord is powerless to intervene. The fact is, there's nothing too big for God. Even... The coronavirus, COVID-19, God is bigger than that. Now, let me encourage you today. Faith is believing what God says. Fear is believing what Satan says. So remember, fear is not an option. Father, thank you so much for not giving us the spirit of fear, but of power and love and of a sound mind. Help us to live in that today. Help us to distribute that hope today to others. In Jesus' name, 
Amen. Our website is morningmanna.com. My email address, Bruce Turner at gmail.com. Have a great weekend. There are so many opportunities for you to experience uh, church online. My wife and I are part of Life Church. We'll be doing a YouTube stream at 5 p.m. If you uh, find the YouTube channel for Life Church, 5 p.m. Saturday, there'll be three streams on Sunday. You can also watch any one of 91 live streams each week by going to live.life.church. Have a great day. Till next week, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy. Choose joy.